Hi, this is Vicki Boyd, editor of Citrus and Vegetable Magazine. Imagine a commercially grown tomato that looks like homegrown, feels like homegrown, and more importantly, tastes like homegrown. We don't look, have to look any farther. The tasty leaves begin to hit grocery store shelves. It's a product of the University of Florida's tomato breeding program, and more importantly, work by Dr. Jay Scott. This is Tasty Lee. This is our new, our new release. You can see the difference here. This is your uh, tomato on the vine, Tasty Lee, and your, your standard vine ripe tomato. You can see the difference in the color and the difference in the texture and, uh, and the internal quality, the structure. It's, it's a more meaty tomato. It has more lycopene, higher lycopene, better color. Uh, it's a firmer tomato, so we can allow this to ripen on the vine and harvest it at full color. Whereas these other, these, this tomato, it's, it's harvested and gassed. So this is a more natural product, a better tasting product, and so far the consumer acceptance has been overwhelming. A handful of growers in Florida and North Carolina are growing this tomato and it's beginning to hit grocery store shelves. But don't go looking for it next to regular tomatoes. You won't find it there. Look for a separate display that features a Tasty Lee sign. More importantly, look for a decal that identifies this fruit. It's the only way that you can be assured that you're getting the tomato that has the flavor bred into it. 